Yo, what's good boys? So I'm going to be going over my roster update predictions as we are getting a roster update this week in Diamond Dynasty. So let's get to it. All right, boys. So the first person that is going to be a diamond that I think is going to get plus three is Jose Ramirez. Um, he's a switch hitter, which is great to have on, on your squad. I think he's going to get the plus three. I also think he's going to get the lightning player of the month card. He's been playing insane in real life. He has a 362 batting average, 1.105 OPS, 20 RBIs, 4 home runs. He is putting up video game numbers this year. He's been in a slump as of late in the New York Yankees series, but I think that Jose Ramirez is definitely going to get the plus three. All right, so our second player is going to be Nolan Arenado. He's going to be our last diamond in the in the predictions. But he is batting 364 in real life with four, 14 RBIs, five home runs, and a 1.153 OPS. He is hitting it like crazy right now. Um, I think he's going to get a plus two. I think he's going to get, get 90 overall. We'll see what happens. All right, so the next player that I project is Wander Franco. He's going to be our first gold. I think he's going to get a plus two. He's been hitting crazy this year. He's got a 349 batting average, 10 RBIs, three home runs. He's been hitting it really well. 999 OPS. He just destroyed the Red Sox, by the way. Um, I think he's going to get a crazy increase on his contact and power to righties. So I think that he might be a viable option. Probably not because your teams are probably already diamonds. But he definitely is going, I think, by the end of the year, going to be a diamond. Well, boys, Francisco Lindor is back. And he's been hitting the crap out of the ball for the Mets. Um, he's got a 313 batting average, three stolen bases, 12 RBIs, four home runs he's been hitting it really good i think he's gonna get a dramatic increase to his hitting honestly i think he's gonna get a plus two he may hit diamond i doubt it though i don't think they'll do that this early in the year for a gold but i think he'll get a plus two i think he'll go 84 overall for sure so yeah lindor is definitely going up so the next gold we got is Ozzy Albies. He's batting 242, not that good of an average, but he's got 11 ribbies on six home runs. So I think he's gonna get a definitely. I think he's definitely gonna get a power boost. I think he'll go diamond. So be on the lookout for Ozzy Albies. Right now he's pretty at a high price in the in the market. He's 3.8, almost 4K. I think he'll be around 8K if he goes diamond, which I think he will. The next gold we got is Rafael Devers. He's definitely going to get a boost to his contact and power versus lefties. He's actually batting 333 against lefties, which is pretty nice. His average on the season is 265, so not too good. He's been cold his last seven games. He's only been batting 133 in his last seven games. But he's got eight RBIs and three home runs. I think he'll get maybe a plus one. He could get a plus two. He could go diamond if his if his contact and power versus lefties is tremendous. But I doubt it's going to be that crazy as he only has three home runs. So his power boost isn't going to be that big. But his contact might be pretty decent since he's batting 333 against lefties. But... I think he'll maybe go 84 at most. So our first silver card is going to be Seiya Suzuki. Right now, he's actually 4,800 stubs in the market. And he's been hitting it like crazy this year. He's got 354 batting average, 13 RBIs, 4 home runs. I personally think that he's going to be a crazy long-term investment. Right now, I think you should pick him up, hold him on your squad, and eventually he may be 10k stubs if he keeps up in real life the next silver we got is the swaggy jazz chill the next silver we got is the swaggy jazz chisholm he is honestly 
the coolest baseball player in the league right now. He's got just so much swag to him. Um, he Euro stepped on an umpire the other day, which was pretty funny. Um, he's batting 295 right now. He's got four stolen bags, 15 RBIs, and four home runs. He is honestly insane this year. Uh, well, not insane, but he's playing to his expectations, which we expected from him. Um, and he's got a 1.067 OPS. Uh, his hitting stats are definitely going to get increased with those four home runs that he's got. Uh, he's more of a speed bat, more of a contact hitter, more of a fielder, honestly, even. But this is definitely a long-term investment. Right now, he's 1.2K stubs. I say by roster update, he'll be maybe around 3K, maybe like 2.5. So he's definitely going to be worth some stubs. The next silver we got is a supercharged Ty France. He, As we speak right now, he's supercharged. He drove in five runs on five hits in the win over the Royals on Saturday. He's got plus 25, plus 35, plus 20, plus the, jeez. This is a, actually a pretty insane card. I didn't even know this was supercharged, but I think he'll get a plus three. He's batting 375 right now. 19 RBIs, five home runs, and a 1.115 OPS. Man is hitting it like crazy right now. Definitely expect him to get a plus two. So the next player that is going to get an insane increase, I honestly think he'll just go bronze, to be honest. I think, I don't know, man. I, he could even go silver, maybe. Steven Kwan, he's right now just 436. He's not really breaking the bank at all, considering he's a common. But through five games this season... Cleveland Guardians rookie was 10 of 15 at the plate for a 667 average. He was insane. And even more impressive, Quan didn't have a single swing and miss through 116 pitches until his first strikeout of the season in Wednesday's game against the Reds, which is actually insane. So um, I think that Stephen Quan is going to maybe even just skip bronze and go to silver. I might be stretching it. I don't know. But he's pretty good. Five games, 18 times on base at one point in the season. Zero swings and misses. That is literally insane. All right, so our first pitcher is going to be Clayton Kershaw. I could see him getting maybe a plus two. I could see him going 87 overall. Right now, he's pitching... Uh, right now he's pitching. Right now he's pitching a 2.65 ERA. He's three and zero on the season, 23 strikeouts, and a 5.9 WHIP, which is pretty good. Uh, I think he'll get a hit per nine boost and maybe a K per nine boost. Most likely a K per nine boost, which will get him to 86 or 87. I think 87 because I think he'll get a hit nine boost as well. Next, we got Carlos Rodon. He has been playing out of his mind with a 1.06 ERA, 29 strikeouts, 8.82 whip. He's 2-0 on the season so far. I think he'll get a K per 9 boost for sure, uh, which I think he'll go diamond. Actually, then in this roster update, he'll go 85 overall. So I think he'll go plus 2 uh, on the roster update. He's got a He's definitely got a great pitch mix, too. Uh, if you are on a budget right now, you literally have no players. But I doubt that he's just a good investment. Right now, he's 3.3K, which is pretty good. The next pitcher I got is Alec Manoa. Uh, he's been pitching pretty good this season. He's 3-0 on the year with a 2 ERA. Uh, he's got 18 strikeouts and a 1 whip, which is pretty good. Um, I think he'll maybe get a plus... 5 to his caper 9 I, don't know, I think it'll bring him up to maybe an 82 or an 83 I don't know but I think that is going to be Alec Manoa for sure the last pitcher I got that I think is going to go gold is going to be Shaw Mania. I mean he did not have a good start his last game on Saturday he 
Gave up six runs, only had five strikeouts, walked three batters, pitched four innings. He took the L on that game. But he has been pitching pretty well. He's been striking out a lot of guys. He's got 24 strikeouts this season, a 3.47 ERA. He's 2-2 two and two on the season so far. Um, I think he's going to go gold. I think he'll go 80 overall. Uh, he'll get a K per 9 boost for sure. So that is going to be it for my roster update prediction video. Hope this video helped you guys out. Hopefully you guys are making a lot of stubs. Um, I'm sitting at 81K right now, which is pretty good. Uh, I've been playing the, uh, the Moonshot event a lot, which has been a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, more content on the way. On the 29th, we're going to get a new program, which I'm pretty excited about as well. Um, it's going to be a good week. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.